Hey everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles back again for another review. This time it's the Transformers Masterpiece MP47 Hound and it has been long awaited um, and uh, I actually had to wait a little bit longer than normal because uh, Nippon Yasin, the uh, the retailer that I ordered this through in Japan, uh, I've got no idea what the hell that, uh, they were doing uh, but uh, this released back in late December um, and Nippon Yasin did have a Christmas break um, and once they came back in uh, early January, they were meant to ship out all of their stock, uh, but it looks like they disappeared for most of uh, January. Um, a lot of collectors were uh, getting, trying to get refunds and contacting PayPal and their banks and so on. Um, and uh, Nippon Yasin certainly weren't giving any reasonable excuses as to why they weren't shipping. Uh, but uh, out of nowhere, they uh, finally uh, shipped it uh, just last week and I got it today. So um, I'm glad I got it in one piece and finally got to, through that hassle. Uh, but it seems like every MP release these days has some sort of controversy. Um, and I have been keeping up to date with all of the uh, breakages and cracks and so on that uh, have been reported for this particular figure. Uh, I checked through mine uh, just straight out of the box. And I'll give you guys a closer look in uh, this uh, alt mode here. Um, and mine doesn't seem to have any cracks so far. Um, but I know that I'll be uh, shitting myself uh, transforming this thing into bot mode. Uh, but we'll get to that shortly. The box art uh, is the usual MP style that uh, we all know and love. A uh, nice bit of cover art there. And you get all the shots of the figure at the back. Um, so nothing uh, too earth shattering there. Comes with the collector card, which is decent enough um, with his tech specs as well. So um, for those always asking, this is the Ultra Pro Magnetic Card Holder. So just look that up on eBay and you'll probably see a whole bunch of um, retailers. Although I think uh, in the US you can get it directly from Ultra Pro. Uh, accessories wise, it comes with this uh, hood. Uh, now I didn't think it actually uh, appeared in the cartoon, but in the instruction book they've actually got uh, a, at least one screenshot of uh, where it appears when he's in some river or something like that. But uh, I can't remember it and I certainly won't be putting it on because I'm terrified about uh, scratching the paint off of this thing. Uh, so there's been lots of reports of uh, paint scratches and cracks and so on, so I'm not even going to bother trying to put it on, but uh, you get the idea for those who might remember this Jeep um, and this sort of a canopy. And I think uh, the... Oh, just one of the plastic pieces came off. I think uh, this piece in the middle here is uh, where his hand in Botmo can use this as some sort of weird-looking shield thing. Now, I don't uh, think anyone's going to display it like that, but uh, I guess uh, the option's there for you. Uh, comes with his uh, hologram projector thing, which is a nice addition. I do like that they're adding quite a lot of um, those cartoon um, sort of effects and so on that uh, you get um, with these figures. Particularly with the plus figures, they, they do a lot of the, uh, the gun blast effects, and now this. So, always a good option. Comes with his little pistol. Not sure if uh, you meant to put that in, in this particular gun or something like that. You get the idea. I don't even think this is... Uh, it might be painted. But uh, it's just like a bit of a... Not really too glossy silver. So that's not too bad. It comes with his uh, cannon for his alt mode here. I think it just sort of pegs in at the back there. Now I have, <clears throat> I have seen transformations where... You can peg it in and leave it in during the transformation. Um, I'm not even going to bother doing that. Um, people have said that in some cases it does hinder the packing up of all the legs and all the folding and so on. So I'm not even going to uh, attempt to risk it. Um, I might take some photos later on with it uh, on for this alt mode. But other than that, it's uh, definitely going to stay off. Also comes with the uh, fuel canister or the spare canister. And I think that just sort of pegs on at the back there, like so, um, and I'd be very careful in putting that on and leaving it on. I saw some reports of that peg uh, getting cracked and uh, stuck in there, so be very careful with this figure. Also comes with the <clears throat> spare wheel, oops, uh, which I think uh, has just got a peg at the top there, and I think you just sort of slot it in on the back there like, like so, or maybe it uh, goes the other way, I'm not sure. Either way, you sort of peg it in at the back there, and this panel here is another risky area where I've seen a lot of breakages of that just uh, flicking straight off, um, so be very careful there. But um, 
I guess with all the uh, original talk of uh, why they why these MPs don't have rubber wheels, I guess uh, they've uh, resolved that by uh, actually incorporating all of those folds into the wheels themselves. Uh, so I'm not sure. I'm assuming this thing also folds away because it's got some folds in it. So you can probably integrate all of that into the transformation. Uh, but again, for me, I'm not even going to uh, entertain trying to do that. Uh, it comes with a couple of spare uh, rear view mirrors. And going by all the reports of breakages, uh, these are probably the least uh, things that they should have included for, for uh, spare parts. They probably have, should have included maybe a second figure uh, for spare parts, going by uh, what I've seen. Uh, it comes with the little key that you can actually hook onto his waist where his hips are in bot mode and I think this was the key to the cage where Ravage is uh, caught in one of those episodes I think uh, comes with the hologram driver um, I think you can not sure how easy it is to slot it in there uh, but you get the idea I'm too lazy and too paranoid about even trying to do anything with this particular figure but uh, you get the idea shove him in there or the new version of Spike. Now this new version of Spike is uh, a lot bigger than the version that uh, you received with MP44 or MP45 uh, being Prime and Bumblebee. Uh, this one is uh, quite a bit bigger. Um, and they still haven't painted the face <laughs> for some reason. I guess Takara just doesn't like putting eyes or facial features on uh, paint application on their figures, their human figures. But uh, overall, I do like this larger size, and it uh, does scale a lot better with uh, this figure. So the cars probably aren't uh, all in scale too much. Um, they all sort of seem roughly the same size, um, but uh, not too much in scale. But uh, overall, the details on this bike are, are pretty good. Um, and I think the last couple of accessories are some alternate faceplates, so they continue that trend there where they're giving you the sort of screaming sculpt and a more of a sort of smiling sculpt I can't remember exactly what it is is uh, the default one uh, but we'll see once I transform him uh, but uh, yeah with the plus figures and with the hound here and um, bumblebee and so on I do like uh, the alternate uh, versions that they uh, give you the option for but uh, I'll get uh, on to a closer look at the uh, alt mode alright so here it is in its jeep mode and I have to say I love the color of green I love the details that they've got uh, throughout the figure. I love how they've got all of that detailing in the dash there. Really nicely done. Um, some of the cracked areas that I've seen are along this door hinge here. Um, this little crack here I thought was a, was a crack, but it's a, I think it's just the edge of the paint flashing there. You sort of see the same on this side. So I'm not sure exactly where the cracks are, if it's in that hinge or that pin right there. I've seen some cracks along that hinge here, so I can't see any cracks on mine just yet. Um, other areas of cracks, um, as I was saying before, there have been breakages of this panel here. Uh, I've seen cracks in the head uh, arm piece or the cannon arm piece, which I think is this center piece here. And I can't seem to make out any cracks uh, along uh, this sort of centerpiece right there. So I can't see any cracks there just yet. And underneath, um, I haven't seen any cracks. I have seen some on some videos and photos where some of these areas that have pins have started developing cracks. I can't see anything on mine just yet. Touch wood. Uh, but we'll have to see as we go through the transformation. Um, I guess the scary thing is, I have heard that people have just transformed him and left him on the shelf and come back a few days later and they've started seeing cracks. So um, I'm not sure exactly what's gone wrong in the uh, production process, but it looks like the plastic is a very brittle or soft plastic that breaks easy. Um, so I would be very careful in how you handle this. Um, even if you do just sort of leave it in a museum pose on display like uh, I normally do. Um, so I'll be checking mine quite regularly and hopefully um, there aren't any issues. Uh, but from a design perspective, I love the way they've done this Jeep. Um, Takara pretty much always gets their uh, car mode pretty spot on. I love all the detailing, even in the 
front grill here looks really nice. I love the Autobot symbols there. Um, the wheels look good, and even the chairs here look pretty good as well. I do like the clear windscreen, uh, which looks quite nice. So that is pretty much it. I'm not even going to bother trying to lift this hood. Uh, everything seems very, very, very tight, and uh, I apologize for uh, being overly paranoid about this uh, particular figure. Um, but uh, other than that, that's pretty much it in car mode. Um, and I'll probably be spending the next uh, two hours trying to get him slowly into bot mode. Um, I will definitely not do that on camera because I will be here all night, I think, if I uh, even try to do that. So I'll, I'll uh, get him transformed and uh, let you guys know how I go. Thanks. All right, here he is in bot mode after three hours. Yes, it took me three hours of slowly transforming this. Um, and I finally got him there. Thanks to Emgo's uh, video uh, for the transformation. I followed that uh, to the letter um, and uh, I had no breakages. Uh, there is probably only one tiny crack that I can find. Um, and it's, I don't know if you can pick it up, if it zooms in. I have a tiny little crack right in that middle piece there. I think you can just make it out there. I have seen reports of that previously. Now I did try to loosen that. I have loosened it a little bit um, with a little screwdriver. So hopefully that doesn't get any worse than that. And I don't think I noticed it until I turned this piece and connected it into that slot there. And I think as soon as I did that and I looked back, I saw the little crack. Uh, but that is the only place that I have any uh, cracking. Uh, the usual places around uh, these joints here, I don't have any cracks um, that I can see. Uh, that line that you see there is uh, some sort of paint or mold flashing. Um, some of these areas here that I've seen cracks on, I don't seem to have any thank god i don't think i managed to um get this piece uh, aligned perfectly uh, flat or flush uh, but i'm not even going to bother trying to readjust everything again um, the transformation itself uh, there were some tricky parts i have to say the way they designed the feet transformation and the legs um, is ingenious uh, i love how everything folds away initially when you fold these panels around. Um, it does feel like nothing is going to fit, um, but as you get uh, closer to completing it, um, things start to fit in place. What I found uh, helped me a lot was um, just moving the, the panels and along their, uh, what do they call it, the hinges here. And as I did that a couple of times, it seemed to just loosen things up a little bit and the inside contents, uh, the wheels and so on, uh, sort of finally sort of fit in place and um, uh, everything sort of clipped in place uh, quite nicely. Uh, similarly for the feet, I found uh, there's uh, hinges here and there's little grooves and once you fit and fold these panels in, uh, they slot right in uh, perfectly and then you can clip these in quite uh, easily. Um, so everything else, I think uh, the other issue that was uh, quite difficult was getting these uh, bumpers out uh, from their lower position uh, that was a bit of a pain uh, but once you get them out and hinge them up um, they they do loosen up and then getting these shoulder pieces clipped in um, it does take a little bit of force to get them past the little groove um, that are in the uh, revised instructions uh, but once you push them in and clip them in place uh, they're quite sturdy um, now there is a sort of a butterfly joint that you can sort of almost move the whole hinge there um, so just to be aware of that if you want to pose him up um, or I think you can unhinge the whole lot and uh, pretty much break his arm and move his arm down for some uh, pretty crazy dynamic poses. Um, paint wise I don't have too many paint issues. The only uh, places that I do have some paint rub are right on the top edge here of his thigh as it uh, sort of touches along there and I did notice that I've got a bit of uh, the grey or the tan paint uh, chipped off right on the corner there and I don't know if I did that uh, out of the box um, or as I was articulating but um, I think that was uh, that might have been during transformation 
So I'll just be careful there. But that uh, is the only sort of places that I've got uh, paint issues. Everything else um, doesn't look too bad. I have seen some photos of um, if you're articulating the knees, the back of the knees will start uh, chipping away at the paint. So just be careful there as well. But uh, as with all of my other figures, I'll just have him in a pretty, pretty much a museum pose, uh, just like he is here. Um, as you can see, the head sculpt is pretty good. I don't have too much of an issue with um, the floating head. Um, once you sort of set it all up, there's uh, probably uh, less than a millimeter of a, a gap there, so um, it doesn't really bother me um, on display. And I think, um, in the scheme of things, it's a pretty nice design. I do think uh, they've now, they, they haven't used any sort of um, fake parts um, that people have been complaining about. Not that I have an issue with that at all, if it's all in uh, one transformation. Um, but uh, overall, I think uh, they have nailed the cartoon aesthetic, even these fake little wheels and so on. Um, he just looks uh, pretty much perfect uh, for my book. Um, Articulation-wise, I'm not going to be too crazy with him. Um, I think uh, some of the other reviewers might have gone to town with uh, some of the articulation but I think the blogger photos um, through, through some of the Facebook pages and so on uh, have some really awesome photos I mean I might take some more photos with uh, once I get MP19 plus smokescreen uh, in the next day or so um, and uh, do a whole bunch of new photos for all the uh, more recent uh, characters so hopefully uh, you can give this video a like and uh, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for that hopefully you like this uh, look at Hound um, I would say if you're a G1 fan, uh, then this is a must-have. Um, even if you have some of the other versions of um, Hound from third parties, I think overall, similar to how Sunstreaker was an improvement, I think uh, this is an improvement. It's uh, uh, There shouldn't be any complaints about uh, backpacks and uh, uh, messiness in the back and so on, or kibble. Uh, they've really tidied this up, and the transformation is uh, very, very nice. So... Um, Apart from uh, all the bad reports of uh, cracking plastic and uh, the minor issue on mine, um, I guess uh, this is uh, next to perfect. Hopefully uh, they do rectify uh, the plastic issues on in any repaints or anything like that. Uh, but as of now, I'm uh, pretty happy with uh, how it goes. Hopefully there aren't any, too, uh, aren't any more cracks uh, that appear over, over the next few weeks um, as I have him on display. Uh, but that is uh, pretty much it for MP47 Hound. Um, uh, hopefully, yeah, you can uh, stay tuned for uh, my MP19 Plus review, hopefully coming up uh, before the weekend. Uh, so until then, thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.